All right. Inter Miami are in Nashville this weekend. I kind of missed last weekend. Like, it was weird. Like, because Messi's at Copa America and so Suarez. Like, it, it's kind of gone quiet when it comes to Major League Soccer in the Inter Miami front. They didn't they had a bye week last week, they didn't play. Nashville, another win. They're in a little bit of a roll right now. Uh, taking them up to seventh place in the Eastern Conference on 26 points after a 1-0 victory at home of New York City FC. National minus 105. <laughs> There's considerable favorites here. Miami at plus 270. The total set at three. Wow. I like the under here, but that's not my play. Uh, Dan, you have a play for this game as well. What do you like? Yeah, I think I know it's like a very small sample size that we're looking at here, but like the the, the secret is kind of out, and I think I think maybe the secret is forgotten because of that buy um, that like this inner Miami side is is looking sneaky, just as solid with, without uh, Suarez and Messi. The form has been just fine, and you know if if they end up winning this game outright, which I'm not sure that they will, but if they do. You're not going to be getting prices like this, even on this new look inner Miami. Now, again, I don't think this new look inner Miami is going to be going winning a cup anytime soon, but I think there is a little bit of rah rah. Let's uh, let's rally around each other. You know, this is what we got, all we got, all we need. Kind of vibes going on here, um, and and I think that there's there's something to it here with this inner Miami team, and you're going with against a, a Nashville side that um, you know has, has has some things to be excited about but it's not like they should be prohibitive favorites against a team who's rolling a little bit here without their best players. So I want to protect myself by, you know, asking them to do it outright or, uh, you know, worrying about uh, any late goals uh, messing me over. So I'm going to go at plus money for Inter-Miami to win either half. Uh, The two-game sample size of this Inter-Miami look team is that they're going to score two goals. Which half they're going to score two goals in is is your guess. Uh, so, you know, hey, why not ask them to get it done at plus money, a team who could potentially be live to win the game. Again, I'm not saying that Miami is incredible. Pull off the rubber band. Let's go get your future tickets in. Let's just ship off Messi because they don't need them. But I do think that they're good enough to be potentially winning a half. And at plus money, that's the way I'm going to go. Enter Miami, either half, get it done, plus 115. What are you thinking, Gareth? Yeah, uh, very similar to you. I won't split it up in halves, however. Miami are a well-managed team. I'll take Tata Martino over an Inter manager almost every day of the week. And they built a really good team around Messi and Suarez as well. And they can play in different ways. This is another one when you're looking at it. An over team in Miami, they've gone over in their last five. Nashville played under in seven of nine. And even if it stays under, which I'm okay with, I think it's going to stay close. Two wins in two games without Messi. They won the time before that without him in Vancouver. Again, they're a good team. Avias and Ruiz return after missing the Columbus game where somehow, after winning with nine men over Philadelphia, they won that game too. Four wins and a draw in their last five away. They've only conceded twice in their last three games away. They're coming off a bye week, so they're well-rested. No losses in 14 in Major League Soccer for for Miami. And they already beat Nashville 3-1 in MLS play this year and 3-1 in in, uh, in, in, uh, the the CONCACAF Champions Cup as well as a 2-2 draw. So they're the better team. 6-2-1, by the way, away from home this season. Nashville, I got to see them up close and personal about a week and a half ago. They're good, not great. That's what I think about this team. Not great attacking-wise. Boyd is preferable over some of the other players. They've been playing those positions. He got the goal last weekend, but the attack still doesn't look sharp. They do have three draws over the span of their last eight games, and only three goals scored in their last three at home, and they're outshot 15-8 by New York City FC in the 1-0 victory last week. Miami hasn't lost, by the way, to National in their last six either, so that's what I'm banking on. It's going to be seven. Inter-Miami double chance or half a goal on the handicap at minus 115. I think that Miami's the right side to be on. Nashville are doing okay. They're doing much better. But Miami are a really solid team, even without missing the most biggest and most popular player in the game of football. So uh, backing Miami. So two pro Miami plays. Do you have a feel on this one, Bob, at all before we move on? No, Nashville's been so hit or miss at home. They're beating NYCFC. They uh, beat Toronto 2 nothing. But their losses, that's kind of what, what makes me confused about Nashville. Their home losses... Uh, 2-1 to one against the New England Revolution and 2-1 to one against the Philadelphia Union. 
what does that mean? I, I no, I looked at this. I want to be on your side. I think you guys have uh, uh, good picks for for what you have. I just can't get in it because Nashville has this weird uh, weird aura about them recently. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Uh, two official plays. He's going to stay away, and we'll see if Nashville can keep this going. I am skeptical. Uh, minus uh, Miami on the handicap, Miami to win either half at an even better number for Dan at plus 115. It's always troubling when I have plays in the same games as you guys, and I like your play better than mine. So <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's keep that trend going. 